This is Tom Dillon, The Lifetime Liberal, and today is Thursday, April 25th, 2024. The title of this rant is, Will the VW Union Vote Accelerate Power to the Proletariat? So as uh, Sleepy Joe uh, said to Barry when they had Obamacare back in 2010, I guess, this is a big effing deal. And why is it so? Well, number one, um, Volkswagen uh, at that plant tried two other times to get uh, to vote for unions. It was it failed. This time it went three to one uh, in favor of the unions. And this is the only VW plant in the entire world that is, had not been uh, unionized. Uh, and basically, let's put it this way. They saw what the big three got, it was it earlier this year, late last year, in terms of a contract for a number of years uh, with lots of good stuff in it for the worker. And they said, hey, this has got to happen to us here in Tennessee. Now, just want to point out that the South in general has been the problem child um, for the proletariat and for workers for 150 years or more, where there has been, let's just use the term, active repression by state governments who have been colluding with business to, to force wages down with just a whole slew of laws against the average working person. Okay, so, and then the other thing is uh, about this is not only, and I just want to point out one other thing about the South. Right before the election, six Southern governors, all Republicans, indicated that uh, that uh, that th th this was liberty and freedom to not vote for the union. That <laughs> you're free and you're, you have liberty if you don't vote for the union. So they still do not want to help the average working person. Now, the third thing is about all of this is there are 10 or more uh, foreign manufacturers in the South, all over the South, and their suppliers, all right? And they have a Mercedes contract with a much bigger plant, I believe, in Alabama coming up very soon. And the preliminary vote was, again, way, way, way for the unions to go. And, you know, why is this all happening? Well, we know that since the early 70s uh, that uh, wages have been stagnant while productivity has gone way, way up. And what we know is that these companies, they're making gobs of money. And basically all that these unions want to do is to represent the average working American and give them their fair share. That's all they want. All right. So this is, a, as Sleepy Joe would say, a big effing deal. Because again, Wages have not gone up significantly since the early 70s, right after or right around the time of the Powell Memorandum. And uh, it is time to bring power to the proletariat and to stop reparations to the rich.